Hey guys and gals and morons. Alright, I'm going to give you an update on something. Um, you had seen a post where I had said, do not buy from a certain business. Okay, and, and I'm going to give you an update on this. This is how long this has been. Uh, this is true, so there ain't nothing nobody can do about it because it's true. This is 100% true. So I bought I bought a performance technique amplifier that was labeled as brand new October the 3rd. And here it is like the 27th, 28th of October and it still is not here. Okay. It was coming from Georgia and I live in North Carolina. That's two days tops from the postal service. Two days. All right. I reached out to the business and said, Hey, where's the package? Blah, blah, blah. And I didn't reach out till after like two weeks. Then I start getting messages. Hey, it's it's due to the weather. It's due to this. It's, the weather may impact this and that. And I was like, bullshit. I ordered a package from Lith Lithuania. This ain't, Lithuania's not in the United States, y'all. It's not. But anyway, it got here in less than a week from Lithuania. Now, as a as a consumer, when you buy something from a company, you know, you're, you, these people are saying they're a company. If you're buying from a company, it's the company's responsibility to track the package, not mine. I did not arrange the shipping. They will give you a tracking number for you to refer to to look at, but when it comes to finding out where it went or who has it, that's up to the business. This has nothing to do with this business. This business ain't in business no more. I won't go into the business. It's already on there. You can see it if you want, but I'm going to tell you what the response was, okay? After me, the consumer, I'm trying to teach you something so you don't run into the same shit I ran into. Watch who you buy from, okay? So what I had to do as the consumer is call the postal service, file a, file a complaint, file an investigation. I had to do that as the consumer. Meanwhile, the seller, not performance technique, but the seller of these items acted like it's my responsibility. I'm like, no, it's that's not the way it works here, sir. You have to do it, okay? I'm going to update you on a couple things. So this was one. I had ordered an amp. The amp never showed up. It still never showed up. So finally I get a response back that says, I'm going to read it to you right here. I'm going to hide the, the little, I'm not giving these people any more uh, business, but here you go. There's where I bought it, and there's where there's his answer after almost a month. Sorry, USPS lost the item. I ships. I can ship you another one on Monday, 1028, shipped by UPS delivery. Let me know. Okay. And here's here's how you 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 here's how you come back on it. Here's how you answer it. And then, and this will tell you if they're full of shit or not. This is how you can tell. I put, as long as it's brand new condition and works, that's fine. I gave you a hard time because I knew what had happened. Not my first pony ride. I literally brought, bought a CD player from Lithuania and got here in less than four days. That's why I said check on it. So yeah, send me one. But I put, but not at... But not at my expense. Thank you. I would not use that's supposed to be the post office for anything. They steal all the time. JS owners won't even use them again. We do lots of business together. They have the same problems. The postal service has a lots of issues. A lot of issues. It, they have people. Man, one of the postal workers in that was delivering in my neighborhood had drugs in his car and got arrested in the neighborhood. 
While he's delivering mail, he's delivering drugs. Yeah, true story. So be careful who you buy from when it comes to stuff like this. Don't trust that they're going to send you a good item. See what this guy could have done is go, oh, well, here you go. There's you another amplifier and it'd be a piece of shit. And he's going to go, oh, well, you must have blowed it up. You won't get your damn money back. So you know what he did? Refunded me my money. Which was $192, not the $179. You got to add the tax into that. So, not only did I was going to buy it for $192, give him top price for the item, it, it wasn't going to be good. I had already called this guy out, not, th not this company. I said, you sold me a set of rotten speakers, and I never said a word about it. Not a single word they were rotten. They were no good out of the box. I didn't say a word. That's the kind of guy I am. But when you piss me off and you start lying and you start conniving and you start giving me things that aren't good on purpose, that's when we got a problem. And I'm going to call your ass out for real. Now, the other deal when I said about kicker speakers that were fake, that company also reached out to me again after I sent them back. And I'm going to tell you, you better stay away from this place and you do whatever the hell you want to do. But I'm telling you what to do to try to help you because I don't want you to get screwed over like I've been done for most of my life. And this is, I'm not even stretching it. You have no idea. Um, and then I'll get into one more thing. Well, let me read what, what that person had to say. And I'll tell you who that company is because they're fucking from China. That's the bottom line. So let's go to my messages. I'm going to read the message. And here we go. I told you to stay away from Decoration International. Right here. So you know what's... I, I can tell you right now it's from China. These were not Mopar speakers. These were fake speakers. And here's what they sent me, October 21st. This has been a long time ago. This was, uh, they want positive feedback. They, look, this was September the 5th. This is China, y'all. Look, how you doing? This is Fiona. I run this business with my grandma and my golden retriever. Bullshit. It's bullshit. It's not real shit. It's China. I told you this. Whatever. But pay attention. So Decoration International is another shit, shitty company on eBay. Be careful when you buy stuff. Only make sure you can get your money back. But re read this. So dear friend, when somebody says dear friend, that's China. They call everybody friend. We are so sorry for the inconvenience caused. I run this small family business. A small business called Decoration International. International means international. <laughs> I run this small family business with my grandmother. Your feedback is very important to us and we will greatly affect and it'll greatly affect our business. I know it does. That's why I gave you a shitty ass review. Could you please help us to revise your feedback and we will send you a new set for free? Oh, so you want me to commit? You want me to lie to people? You want me to lie to them so uh, you can sell more shit? That's what you want me to do? Let us apologize to you again for your inconvenience. Your understanding will be highly appreciated. Have a nice day. Best regard. Uh, there ain't no S on there, so I can tell you right now, that's, it's China. It would be best regards, Fiona, but best regard, no S. China don't use S's. And then I put, you send me a set for free and then I will update depending on the quality and how good the speakers play. October 24th. You think I got anything? Look, at 4 o'clock in the morning. See, I'm always up. They sent it at 4.05 and I responded at 5.26 in the morning. Guys, I'm always up. I'm never asleep. I'm like a vampire. I know what's going on. So, there you go. See it for yourself. These companies are full of shit. They're not going to send you nothing. That's the end of the messages. There is no more messages. So when I called their bluff, send me the product. And when it, and if it's good, I'll put a good review. And if it's a piece of shit, I'm going to put us a piece of shit. That's what that basically says. They're not going to send me nothing. 
Neither is the guy that was selling the amplifiers. He's not going to send me an amp because it wasn't going to work. He was going to send me a damn dud. So he knew I got to give this guy's money back. So did International Decoration International had to give him money back. Now, let's get into one more thing. The deal about Patrick at Robot Underground. I know all about it. I've, I've known about it. Uh, I'm not going into detail on any of it, but here's what I'm going to say to people. If you put something in writing and you put it publicly out there, and it doesn't matter what your wordage is before that. You can put, this is not an official document. <laughs> That's not freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is what I'm doing right now. This is my opinion. I'm giving you my opinion, and also I'm giving you facts that I just showed you the facts. I have the facts. When you go out and talk stories about somebody, and you're not 100% sure that's what really happened, you're just, you don't say don't like the person, and you put something out there. I hope you know there's court transcripts that prove what you're saying is not true. You're going to get yourself in huge trouble. Ask Amber Heard what happened to her when she committed slander against Donnie, uh, was his fucking, uh, Johnny Depp. A ask what happened. She got, what was it? She lost $11 million? Guys, I do not have social media for a reason. Social media will get your ass in trouble. My YouTube is not monetized, and it also is titled, this is for jokes, education, whatever, entertainment purposes. Well, what I'm telling you about companies, not this company, but companies that sell this kind of stuff and try to shit you, I can say what really happened because that is the facts. I'm showing you the facts. I've got the facts saved. But if you go out and you start saying things about people that you cannot prove 100%, that's called slander. And, and when you put your name attached to it, you're a fucking dumbass, I hate to tell you. You're just an absolute dumbass. If you write your name across something and you put so-and-so, so-and-so did this, 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 and you put it out public, you just said that's a true statement. Don't never do that. That will get your ass in a slander lawsuit quicker than you can blink. And I hate to tell you, you can't erase it. Guys, I know all about the situation. I know what happened. His wife sent me a message. I told her I would keep it secret. I know the whole deal. I know details. Not the bullshit that's being put out there for people to talk bad about somebody. If you don't know the facts, I'm going to give you some good damn advice, man. I would get that shit off with the quickness real fast. When I make fun of big fat ass and deaf bunch shit, I can back it up. I have the documents to prove what they said. Absolutely. And they jerk that shit down with the quickness. Guys, be careful what the hell you put out there, especially if you put your name on it. You put your name on it and it's dated and they got a history of it that is 100% slander provable. It's hard to prove slander, but that's not hard to prove at all. That is, you, you, you're putting your foot in your mouth. You guys take care and have a good day. Watch what you type on the internet. Hell yeah. Do you think social media is there for you for your benefit? No, hell no. Watch what you say as far as typing it out and saying you did it. Don't do that. That's bad news for anybody. And I know about the whole deal. And let me tell you another thing. Stay away from these companies on eBay that when you can read the you can read the way uh, foreign people talk. It's the way it's written. When half the S's are missing and it's it's it doesn't make sense, a whole lot of it, it you know it's straight out of China. 
okay? And those speakers sucked. That's why they're not going to send me another set of speakers. They didn't even comment after that. And the other company I'm talking about is still on my page, and you can look at it if you want to know who that is about the amplifier. And I said it was bullshit. Nobody lost a damn thing. Hell no. Nobody lose shit. Didn't lose a damn thing. It was a bullshit trying to make money. These people try to rip people off all the fucking time. They're professionals at it. You guys have a good day. Take care. I hope you learned from the video. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. If you don't, go back and watch the videos. See you and have a great day.